The fifth game of the 2010 World Series took place on Monday, November 1st. Just over 52,000 people attended the game. These spectators would be witnesses to a rematch of Game 1. Facing elimination, the Rangers sent their best hurler, Cliff Lee, to the mound. Save for his last start, Lee has been outstanding for the Rangers. The Giants, just one win away from the championship, wanted to leave nothing to chance, sending their ace, Tim Lincecum, to the mound. Both were pitching on four days rest. Both were ready for the challenge. The game started at 7.30 p.m. Jeff Kellogg was a home plate umpire, Gary Darling was at first, John Hirschbeck at second, Sam Holbrook at third, Bill Miller and Mike Winters were in the outfield. Unlike game one, this was indeed a pitching duel. Cliff Lee pitched six scoreless innings, allowing three hits, striking out four, never letting the Giants pass first base. Lincecum was even sharper, yielding just two hits and a walk, while striking out six. The Giants struck first in the top of the seventh. Cody Ross and Juan Uribe hit back-to-back -back singles. Aubrey Huff bunted, advancing the runners. Pat Burrell was next, striking out on a full count. Edgar Renteria succeeded where Burrell had failed, hitting Lee's third pitch to deep left center for a home run. Lee retired the next batter, but the damage was done. The Rangers retaliated in the bottom of the inning. Lincecum struck out La Guerrero, but Nelson Cruz spoiled the shutout by hitting Lincecum's third pitch over the left field wall. Lincecum momentarily lost his composure, walking Ian Kinsler, but then struck out the next two batters to end the frame. Naftali Feliz relieved Cliff Lee, pitching the eighth and ninth facing seven batters and retiring six of them. Lincecum pitched a perfect eighth. The Giants brought out Brian Wilson in the ninth. Wilson was stellar once again, striking out two of the three batters he faced, last retiring Nelson Cruz. The Giants squad of 2010 did what 56 other San Francisco clubs had failed to do. They won the World Series. Cliff Lee was stellar for six innings, but still gave up a three-run homer. Naftali Feliz pitched two good innings. Lincecum was not going to be denied that day, however, getting better as the game wore on, striking out ten Rangers. Brian Wilson completed the improbable run. While the World Series victory was a result of extraordinary team effort, Edgar Renteria was deservedly declared the most valuable player, having been responsible for 12 of the 29 runs scored in the series. A team with few superstars and many cast-offs surprised everyone.